Hi guys, Toby here from Outside Creations and today we're in sunny Devon and we're going to be doing a review of Vlog for the Panasonic GH5. I just want to start off by saying we've been really impressed with Vlog and we definitely recommend buying it. We do a lot of run and gun travel filmmaking, so 4K60 and having that extra bit of dynamic range has really helped. So I'm going to start off with saying the things we really like about Vlog. So the main thing is the increased dynamic range. So Panasonic says normally you'd get about 10 stops of dynamic range, but with Vlog you get 12, so that's quite a big difference and that's really going to make your footage look much more cinematic. Here's some example clips we shot in Cine Like D and here's some in Vlog. And as you can see, there's much more detail in the shadows and the highlights. Shooting in Vlog is going to give you much more flexibility with the color grade. So you're going to be able to use higher end LUTs and really push around the colors a bit more. One of the main benefits we've found with using Vlog is not having blown out skies and blown out windows, things like that. So if you look at my face now, normally in Cine Like D, that would be really blown out. Um, but with Vlog, you can kind of preserve the detail in that. So moving on to the things we don't like about Vlog, the price tag is a bit of an issue. So it's either £80 or $100 depending on where you are. And we think this is a bit of a rip off because when you buy a Sony a7S, it comes with S-Log. Um, so it's just a bit annoying that you have to pay that extra amount of money. One really annoying thing we've had with Vlog is we've been getting some weird sort of color banding and skin tones and some artifacting in the shadows. This means that one thing that we do, which we shouldn't have to do, is sometimes film in Cine Like D for sort of closer up shots where skin tones definitely gonna be more visible. One kind of workaround we've found for this is by shooting in 10-bit color. So you can do this when shooting in 24 frames on the GH5, um, but you can't do this shooting 60 frames. Um, this does seem to help with the sort of color banding on skin tones and things like that. Another kind of drawback of using Vlog over Cine Like D is that you have to use ISO 400 or above. Um, this is fine for us because we've been using variable ND filters for a while, um, but if you're not used to that, it can be a bit annoying because you can't get down to say 100 ISO on really sunny days. Finally, something that we found quite frankly annoying is the fact that Panasonic have to actually post you a code with the Vlog uh, software on it and they can't just give you sort of a download link. I know I just listed off quite a few disadvantages of Vlog, but we think overall it's definitely worth the money and a worthwhile thing to buy if you're looking to achieve a more cinematic look, especially with that increased dynamic range. We love how Vlog allows you to get a really cinematic image in such a small compact camera system like the GH5, especially with 4K 60 frames a second. Thanks guys for watching, if you've got any burning questions just drop them down below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can on them. We really hope you've enjoyed the video and please subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. We'll see you guys in the next one.